All right, so uh, one of Daisy's favorite things to do is play with this red thing right here, the ball. So basically um, what we're doing is kind of coming up with a little exercise, an impulse control exercise. So if you have a dog who likes to fetch, a lot of people like to throw the ball as fast as you can. What you wanna do is instead actually slow things down. So before I throw it, you're gonna to have to sit and then I'll throw it. And eventually, oh, so now go ahead and throw it back in the corner. So she did something you wanted, that's when you threw the ball. Now we've made a rule that she's, now you're gonna defend the same way you were before, stand up. The rule is when we're playing fetch, the dog's not allowed to come in from here to here. Now we define the line, take a step backwards. Now you're stopping, you're going a little bit fat past that line there. So you're right about, there you go. Now take one step backwards, pause, take another step backwards, pause. Then we're gonna turn, pause, grab a seat. There we go. Now she's gonna bring you the ball, tell her, um, tell her to drop when she brings it around. There we go, she dropped it. Do I still say drop? Uh, no, she's already dropped this. Just stand up and move her back. Now, now hold up your hand like you have a treat like this and say drop. Drop. Okay. Now go ahead and pick up the ball. Try it again. Drop. Drop. Now t uh, there you go. Now hold. Uh, now just put your hand at your side because you don't have a treat. All right, there you go. Now she's sitting. What I would do is if she didn't sit automatically, and we've been practicing this a little bit, so that's why I think she's sitting. Um, but if she doesn't sit, then tell her to sit before you're interested in throwing the ball. So now take a step backwards. Now, when we have the ball or retain the ball, we have more interest from her. She wants to come and invade our space. But again, the rule is she's not allowed to cross the line that goes right here. So go ahead and turn now and grab a seat. And you see that, that little bit of a lurch, but she stopped herself. She's starting to develop some self-control here. Uh, go ahead and lean back on the couch a little. Oh, oh, oh. Excellent. Now, that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. You hissed without getting up. Take a step backwards. Remember, anytime she sits, we want to take a step backwards right away. Now turn. Grab a seat. So we're just teaching her to respect an invisible boundary, and we're kind of disguising it in the, in the game that we like to play. She likes to play fetch. So if you're going to play my game, it's my rules. You have to sit before I throw the ball. You can't come in this area between the couch and the table while we're playing this game. You can't take it from me when we're playing this game. Um, tell her down. Down. Now lean back on the couch because she didn't do what you wanted. Now as soon as she LAYs, then I'm going to have you throw it. So you, you, Now she's respecting the spirit of the law, but go ahead. So the only way that she's going to play my game is if I play it by the human's rules. So tell her to sit. Sit. Or drop first, I'm sorry. Uh, sit. Take a step back. Uh, turn. And go ahead and grab a seat. Tell it to down. Down. And then throw. So again, it seems really easy, but we're incorporating. And tell her to drop. Drop. And, and don't even touch it until she drops it. Drop. And then you're gonna turn and force it there. Right. Now, big step backwards. Every time she sits, take a big step backwards. Turn and grab a seat. Give her the D, duck, D command. Down. Good job of only saying it once. No, no, hiss. March. Or stand up. Now march. There you go. Stop. Oh, that was a good one. See how she jumped up there, but she didn't jump up and make contact with you. Take a step backwards. And a small step back. Now turn. You try and make sure you separate the turn and the step. Grab a seat. Tell her the L A Y. Down. And lean back. Do it my way, or I'm not throwing the ball. And as soon as you do it my way, I throw the ball. After a while, she'll start laying down right away. And then you can start in incorporating time. Now she did SIT, we've been yeah. saying the down, but right there she sat, so you could throw it for a sit if you're inclined to do so. I just make the dog sit or lay down. If she's already sitting, that's why I was going to an LAY, but right there she sat, so I might throw it at that point. But there it was a little bit delayed. If you wanna do sit or down, it can do both of them, but we only wanna do it when she does what I want. So tell her to drop. drop. Now tell her to come sit. over here. Tap Calm. the floor where you want her to be. Tell her to sit. sit. Hold it up. Hold the ball up. Say sit. Sit. And then lean back. Put it on the couch. All 
Promise to tap the floor with your left hand again. So when she was going to come, come back and around. There you go. Tell her sit. Hold up sit. the ball and say sit. As soon as you sit, throw it. Sit. Sit. And this time we're not going to throw it. But I think you understand this game that we're doing. So this is, like I said, a way that we can incorporate playing a game, add a little bit of structure and authority. I'm only going to do the, play this game if you play it by my rules. And if you don't, then I'm not going to throw the ball. So it's my way of the highway. After a while, now you're rewarding her with a throw for doing what you want. And we're helping uh, change the leader follower dynamic and teaching her if you do what the human wants, you get your way. If you don't do what your, the human wants, like I mentioned to you off camera, you have to always outlast your dog. And so if I, if I have to spend 10 minutes not throwing the ball and defending it, that's what I'm going to do. And eventually, as soon as the dog gives you what you want, then I give you throw the ball. And eventually, once it does that consistently, then we're going to, so after you sit, I might make you wait 30 seconds before I throw, or a minute, or two minutes, three minutes. Uh, don't get to the point where you just, the whole point is do it long, but you can see right now her focus is intense. She is on, that ball is what she's all about. Play this for a reasonable amount of time and then put it in the closet, put it away so she knows you can't get it and then wait for her to calm down. Then you can play this game again later. But each time you do it, so at first she's got to sit, she's got to lie down, then she's going to have to sit and lie down way longer and longer. Normally when you're doing this, before I came here, I'm guessing if you just dabbed into what we're doing, she would be barking at you or coming over and trying to take the ball from you right now rather than laying down. Laying down is the surrender. So that was a great way to end the video. This is how you can add a little bit of structure and teach your dog how to uh, listen to you and respect you as an authority figure while you play the game Fetch.